So we're going to take a look at a final example. And here we're asked to find the slope of the line between the points negative 4, 12 and negative 4, 5. And just as before, we're going to start off with our slope formula and identify our coordinates and then assign our various variables. So first one, y2 is going to be 5, y1 will be 12, x2 will be negative 4, and x1 will be also negative 4. And so now when we sub that into our formula, we get 5 minus 12 over negative 4 take away negative 4. Remember that negative 4 minus negative 4 is negative 4 plus 4. So this is the important one. Um, we end up with negative 7, which is 5 minus 12, over 0. And any time you have 0 as your denominator, that number is what we call undefined. And we're going to take a look at that on a graph. So on a graph, we're first going to plot the point negative 4, 12. So negative 4 and up to 12, and plot the point. And negative 4, 5, plot that point, draw the line between the two. And you'll note that here we have a rise of negative 7 and a run of 0 because we're not going left or right. There is no run. And so that means that as we said before, the slope of the line is undefined because any time you have zero in the denominator, the, that uh, slope is undefined. And since whenever you have a vertical line, there is no rise or uh, there is no, sorry, there is no run. So the run is always going to be zero because you're not going left or right. So a vertical line always has slope that is undefined.